everyone welcome back to my channel how 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 are you all doing i just said let me decide to vlog i haven't been vlogging in a couple of days because there was really nothing to vlog to be honest as you can see i'm on the road right now i just came from doing my nails look at my nails this is so pretty i love the shape she gave you a whole new shape they said this is the shape that's in right now um which is the almond shape so i just went oh um, with it love the color um i did my feet as well but that is my toes are white um but yeah i'm getting ready and prepared um to go to the cayman islands um we leave out tomorrow then so i'm running around doing some errands right now like i had to do my fingernails and my toes um I can get away with my Use the brows. Left two lanes to keep left to merge onto State Route 141 South toward Doraville. I can get away with doing my brows, um, get not getting my brows done because, you know, I'm good at penciling in my brows and making it look pretty. So, um, yeah. So, um, I'm heading over to a friend of mine. She's going to braid my hair. Um, underneath here so that my wigs can lay very flat um, yeah I'm gonna do something very simple I'm carrying two wigs with me this one and another one that I have that um, in 3.7 miles I did a wig review to <laughs> that please. I was so glad to upload I, I'm very proud of myself I'm being very consistent with these videos and I'm just hoping that you know my youtube channel will blow up okay and there will be persons who will see my blog and be like i like you you know i'm going to subscribe to you so i'm trying to be consistent i've heard people say be consistent well you know i'm used to being consistent in things anyway when it comes to maybe starting a ministry starting a business i'm used to that so um, though I may not see the numbers right now, um, as far as the thousands, I'm still pressing forward, hoping and praying that my YouTube channel gets some kind of um, traffic and that it starts to build and grow so that it could be monetized so I can start getting paid off of this thing you know but i and not just for the money but i really do love vlogging i think that is something that i can say that i did under my belt and i'm you know i like that so yeah but i'm doing a little bit of running up and down today uh, making sure i get all my necessities i haven't finished packing yet but um when i get home I'm, I, that's what I have to do. I gotta finish packing, and I gotta finish putting the finishing touches on my word. I'm preaching on Friday, and I want to make sure that all of my stuff is set so that when I get in two um, miles, turn left to merge onto I-285 East. When I get when I get to the Cayman Islands, I don't have to really worry about touching up my word. I would spend the day Friday just in meditation, studying, and really kind of going over my notes of what I'm going to preach the Friday night. But other than that, you know, I haven't finished. The main, my, the base of my, my, my word is there, but I just want to put the finishing touches on it um, and just ask the Holy Spirit to guide me through this word, y'all. Okay, I get nervous every time every single time I get nervous when I gotta preach or when I gotta when I'm on assignment uh, which definitely tells me that God is um, humbling me and and it lets me know that it's such an honor to preach um, before the um, the people of God so my prayer is that they'll be receptive to the prophetic word that I will impart to them and those kind of things. But yeah, this is me today running up and down. And then after I get my hair done, I got to go get my husband because maybe he been tripping for the past couple of times that <laughs> I missed picking him up at an actual time. So I'm pressed on time. So 
yeah, I'm going to get him on time this time. So he won't be fussing me out. Yeah, that's what I, and then I got to run to the bank, get some money out, you know, yeah. But anyway, time is flying. I can't believe we're in the month of February already. And I'm telling you, God is so good. Good, 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 good. Why am I behind this truck? I don't know, honey. But anyway, I'll catch y'all in the next clip. And i see y'all soon. Bye. Hey, you guys. What's up? What's up? I'm whispering because it's almost 1 a.m. in the morning. Um, we are getting ready in a couple of hours to go to the airport. We're going to Cayman Islands tomorrow. And so I just finished eating, just finished really, really packing up. And I literally got dressed because I got to get up early in a couple of hours to go to the airport. So I'm probably just going to put on some brows, a little bit of concealer, and some lip gloss. <laughs> No heavy makeup. Um, I'm very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. I can't even show you. Very comfortable. So, I'm getting ready to head to my bed. And um, I will see y'all in the morning. I just wanted to put this clip in. Because I've been busy all day running errands. I did my nails. I did my toes. I did my hair. Um, I did light shopping. Got me some new Crocs. Um, an outfit here. And, yeah. And then I went to the bank. I had to get some money out. And then after going to the bank, I went home finish packing and finally 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 I'm done and so tomorrow we're getting picked up tomorrow at 7 30 in the morning so I set my alarm for 5 30 in the morning so I can do a little bit of refreshing brushing my teeth and you know sprucing myself up for tomorrow all right, you guys, I'll see y'all in the next clip. We're going to the Cayman Islands, y'all. What? Anyway, you guys, good night. I'll see y'all in the next clip. Hey, good morning, you guys. How you doing? Listen, we are heading out to the airport. Ready, 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 ready. And we got somebody to pick us up, so... Super excited about that. And we're heading out right now. This is a beautiful vehicle. I'm going to show you guys the vehicle. You get to um, experience the ride with us. Super excited about what God is doing in this moment, at this time. It's around 7.30 in the morning. And we're heading out. You know, I like my wheel. This is my new Bohemian okay, twenty on okay. six inch wig. Look out! Look out! Yeah. Anyway, so we are now and um, when we get to the airport, we definitely will get you um, a little bit of information on the next flight. All right, <laughs> but I want to show you this car that we're in. It's a beautiful ride, and all. I love it. I love this car. <laughs> All right, bye. Look at this, y'all. We got hand sanitizer. We got water. We got snacks. This is like, look how much luggage we are carrying, y'all, to this actual event. This is my bag right here. And we're heading out. My bishop is right there. <laughs>
head to Tampa. So, yeah. So, it's been real, real, I would say it, it has been real smooth so far. No glitches. Flight is on time. Thank God. Really. So, I don't got to worry about um, delays or anything. Some more people are coming on now. Uh, so, we're about to take off. And the first leg of this trip, we're heading to Tampa. And then we're going to connect in Tampa to go to the Cayman Islands. So, I definitely will get back in this next clip. My battery is dying, which I I can't, I don't like that my battery is dying. I should have charged it last night, but thank God I am able to um, use my charger. Um, this is a, this, this, you know, I don't like. Morning, everyone. Welcome aboard Frontier Airlines. I don't like Flight Frontier. With service so, to Tampa. anyway. As you're making your way to your seat, we kindly ask you to step into your... Oh, that's a cute dog. I don't like dogs, but um, it can go. <laughs> And th these are just uh, missions. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But, ooh, I don't have the camera up right. Yeah, anyway, so we landed. We're in Tampa right now. And we are getting our luggages. Look how much luggage we have. <laughs> we got so much luggage. We got like six luggages. Now. So we're going to put them up and then check them back in. That's what we're about to do. You going for the lightest ones or the heaviest ones? The biggest. Oh, the biggest. I could always move mine. <laughs>
Robert, you a millionaire. <laughs> yeah. Say hi. I'm here. <laughs> I've never, I've never been to Cayman, <laughs> so I will be. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, you want to keep that as a souvenir? Oh, thank yeah. you. I appreciate yeah. it. I'll show you the one dollar. We have five dollars. We have twenty-five. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Just go and <laughs> What's up, what's up? Listen, I'm in the Cayman Islands and I am at a, see my suitcase over there, but I'm at a spot right now. I'm staying at somebody's house and um, the people are so kind, they're so sweet. The hospitality is A1. Um, I'm right now, I got up this morning, did devotion, um, and I also not only did devotion, but I went out a little bit to get something to eat. I studied because I'm releasing the word tonight. I'm preaching tonight and I'm praying for um, um, the saints, the people of God to come out for tonight. I'm excited for what he's about to do. And um, I'm just here. I'm just here. You know, um, I thank God for the privilege to be in another country to preach. I just thank God for uh, my bishop for just trusting me to preach the word. That's a, That says a lot about um, who he is and the anointing that I carry. You know, a lot of people don't trust certain people, but um, I'm glad that I have a uh, a leader that knows how to trust people um, when they see the anointing. This is what they will do is release. So I thank God for that. But I'm here relaxing. We have time. It's 2.30 now. Service don't really start until around 7 o'clock. We're going to be there for 7. I still have yet to kind of put together what I'm going to wear. I do know that it's going to be... Um, a maxi dress <laughs> and I'm thinking about wearing um 
one of the two of the maxi dresses. I didn't bring as much maxi dresses, but we're here for four nights. Tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow, um, we have a training session, and then we're going to um, do some outreach in the park. Sunday morning service, Sunday night ordination service, and then Monday night is our last night of revival, which Bishop is going to be preaching. And then I head out Tuesday morning. I'm leaving to go back home. Um, they will be here another day. Um, my Bishop is not coming back until Wednesday. So he has pretty much a free day where he's going to relax and all of that. Um, so, but I, I decided to leave out a day early because I know me. I am not going to stay longer than I'm supposed to. I'm just going to complete the assignments and just go. And so that's what I am doing. I got, I am doing, I'm going to be teaching training on Saturday and I'm going to be helping out with the ordination service Sunday night. And we don't know. I'm just on assignment. You know, I don't know when he'll call me up to, you know, during the altar calls or, you know, stuff like that. Deliverance and healing miracles is going to take place. It's just going to be powerful. It's just going to be a real powerful move. And so our team is getting ready for outreach. Our team is getting ready for the preach word. Our team is getting ready for revival. And I'm just excited. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Normally in stuff like this, I would have my armor bearer with me. Um, but this time I don't have my armor bearer with me. Um, so I guess somebody will cover me while I'm preaching today. Anyway, you guys, I just wanted to come on here very quickly to kind of give y'all, um, it's day one and I decided and I chose to stay in the house because normally when I am on assignment, I don't like to gallivant. I don't like to go everywhere. I like to shut in. I like to just stay quiet, hear what the Lord is saying. I love to meditate and these are the things that where I'm at right now. So yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys real soon in the next clip. Hopefully you see me preaching. All right. Bye. Give God praises. Amen. I want you to do me a favor. Turn to your neighbor and say neighbor. Neighbor. Come on, talk to your neighbor like you. Say neighbor. Neighbor. The, the prerequisite for miracle is in your worship. It's in your worship. Say Come neighbor, on. neighbor. Without, without expectation, without expectation, there cannot be, there cannot be manifestation. manifestation. So one last time, say neighbor. Neighbor. How high, how high is your expectation? Is your expectation. Say neighbor. neighbor. How, high how high is your worship? Is your worship. In Jesus' name. Can you clap your hands together and give Jesus a worthy praise tonight? Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I am Bishop Wayne A. Smith Sr., uh, the senior pastor and founder of Great Ministry over there in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Amen. A lot of people just refer it to as Atlanta. Amen. So we are from Atlanta, Georgia. Amen. And we uh, serve over there. We've been serving for the last eight plus years. Amen. The great people of God that he has assigned us to serve with. Amen. So we are here this weekend on an assignment. Amen. Because I believe for every great ministry, for every great man and woman of God, hallelujah, God will assign individuals to their lives. Amen. Amen. To take them to the next level. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And as they go to the next level, we all go to the next level in God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And we have we have come this weekend not to be seen, not to be noticed, not to be recognized. But we have come that God will get the glory yes. in everything that we do. Yes. I, I don't... It's not the gang protection that's outside. Come on now. It's not the drug infested world that we live in outside. Can I suggest to you that the problem we're facing is on the inside of the church? Mm. Oh, Lord, y'all quiet. Yes. I need y'all to talk back to me. Mm. It's the inside. It is the greatest problem facing us today. It's not what's going on on the outside. It's what's on the inside. are cold concerning mm. the things of God. And they went about their usual routine of doing things. The, first, the fact of the matter is that they 
they were in such a state that the Lord himself said that because they are neither hot or cold, that he would literally watch our mindset about the church, God's church. It's time that we as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ who died and rose, hallelujah, move to a state of survival. Uh. We'll move from a state of survival to revival. Uh. We're just surviving. Amen. We as a church is just getting by. Amen. Amen. We look and we see foolishness happening in the body of Christ. So call out foolishness because foolishness and we need to call our foolery. Talk about, y'all repeat after me. From mm. the pews to the field. From the pews I'm to the field. I'm talking to you, the laborers. Mm -hmm. That is what the church is doing today. We're surviving. Surviving is it's time that we move from a state of ex, um, existence to a state of, a state of persistence concerning kingdom business. We have a survival mentality in the church. We are either hot nor cold. We're just, God is bringing us into the fields. And if you're looking to not get dirty, then this kind of work is not for you. Y'all heard the woman of God came up and she said she goes all across the nations to do the work of God. Go ahead. And you got men looking for women. You mm. got women looking for men. And unfortunately in this world, we got women looking for women. Uh -huh. And we got men looking for men. Can Somebody got to say it. Yes. My God, but everybody is looking for somebody. My God. And turn to your neighbor and say, God is looking for you. God, God is, is looking, looking for, you. for you. And because we're living in such a mess. I'm calling the prayer team first. You know when the Bible says, God sent Judah first. Sent Judah first. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah to dispel the, 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 um, the enemy's camp. Not only worship and praise confuses the enemy, but prayer, it confuses the, the hand of the enemy. And y'all are in the front line. Y'all some frontliners. It's your responsibility to carry the ministry through prayer into victory. As leaders and prayer warriors, not only just to pray for your pastor and your leader, but you're the one that's causing the direction of the church. Prayer. Yes. Are you hearing me? So don't take your, don't think your response. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, let her go. Hallelujah. So cool. Come on, let her go. Yeah. Let her go. Every demon from the pit of hell. Let her go in her dreams. Let her go. Hallelujah. We decree and declare now everything is broken over her heart. Take it off yes. now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. He's doing it really taking you places internationally. For places you've never been, things that you have seen. You've seen a lot of flags in your dreams. Uh, this is what God showed me. A lot of flags just in your dreams. Just a lot of flags. And you thinking, well, what's this? A carnival? What is this? What God is showing you nations. And these are where you're going. The flags represent nations, says yes. the Spirit of God. But not only that, woman of God. There is a love for women in ministry. There is a love for women in ministry. Single mothers. Oh boy. I know I hit I hit something right there. Single mothers, says the Spirit of God. He said, I don't know. Do you have a home? Do you have a home? Do you, do you got a home? Do you have a home? A group home? Is what I saw. Yeah, a group home. At the oh. <laughs> God gave that to you. That's by that was by that was by default. Yeah, God gave that to you by default. Says the Spirit of God. And he says, this group home is going to grow into a place of nourishment and nourishment for the young ladies. They, they don't even, they don't, they God said, get some staff that know how to pray. Get some staff mm. that know how to pray. Because in the night hour, when the demons are tormenting them, we need some on staff in the night yes. that is willing to do dirt, do yes. duty in the night. Yes. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? This ain't a day thing. This is a 24 hour, Jesus. seven day thing. Yes. And God said, get some night nurses, some night staff that know how to pray and cast out demons. Because some of them want to run away. Some of them have fits of rage. Some of them are bitter 
and you trying to control them. And the Lord said, it's not for you alone, but it's for your whole entire staff. And God said, go around those, the rooms and start anointing the rooms. He said, when you got it, you did anoint it. And he said, go and anoint those rooms again. Yes. Start it off with a foundation of God. Yes. Yes. Now, when they go in, they will be like Paul on the road of Damascus. They will go to a place where the street is straight and they will come out another way. They go in one way, but they're coming out another way. Y'all hear my instructions? Yeah, so without their hands on you, there's going to be some fire that's going to go through you. You hear me? Uh, listen, a uh, 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 bishop is a witness. We were in the same church as he was saying, and a, a prophet came into the church and was saying, oh, look at your hands. Yeah, yeah, whoa, 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 yes, God, whoa, come on, walk in there, 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 thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Declare a level, another level yes. of fire. Yes. To hit your belly now. Oh, yes, God. Oh, fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire. 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 destroy to destroy her her identity oh lord god but lord jesus we come this morning oh lord god to take back what the enemy has stole from us as women oh lord god father lord god ah, most of the time we yes, value lord. ourselves oh lord jesus ah, we come oh lord god to work as men oh lord god Jesus, oh God, as, as a Joseph, oh Lord God, who know where they stand, oh Lord God, as a, as a Daniel, oh Lord God, in the house of the, the Holy Ghost, yes, to know where God. we stand, oh Lord Thank God, that we don't stand, oh Lord God, for, for the things of the world, oh Lord God, but we stand, oh Lord God, representing the King this morning, we stand, oh Lord God, representing oh, God. you God. in the God. highest God. place, oh Lord God, God. Father, Lord God, you says, let our light shine, oh Lord God, Father, Lord God, let us be the salt, oh Lord God, to go, oh Lord God, into the nations, to impact, oh Lord God, to flavor someone's life, oh Lord God, to season their life, oh Lord Jesus, this morning, we thank you, Holy Spirit, 
spirit, oh Lord God, as we as we here to equip yourself, oh Lord God. Father, you says my people perish for lack of knowledge, oh Lord Jesus. This is the opportunity. Hey you guys, this is our um let me see. This is the second day of the revival weekend. Last night I preached powerful word about the laborers, how we need to jumpstart these laborers. And now we're in the midst of training. My bishop is doing a leadership conference, leadership training for all the leaders of the church. They're getting it in and I took a break. I took a bathroom break and I'm out here in um, the hallway and I'm excited to be here. Let me tell you, God is so good, y'all. So I just wanted to come on here very quickly to kind of give y'all a rundown of what's happening, what we're doing. And then after this, we're heading to the park to give out to the children, to the community, fresh clothes, new clothes. We might be able to pray with them. We might be able to give out tracks. Oh yeah, that would be a great idea to even give to the pastor um, tracks that um, will give them addresses to come back to church on Sunday because we're about kingdom building. We're about causing souls to come to know the Lord. Yes, we do this and we give out free clothes, we feed them, um, but it's very important to pray with them, know that there is a leader in the community who loves God that will care for their spiritual souls. So I'm super excited for today. I'm just relaxing. I get to enjoy the day yesterday. I was in the house all day, just meditating, praying, preparing to speak. But now that that's over, I'm going sightseeing. Um, the pastors and leaders are going to take us out to dinner and all of these things. So it's going to be more light for me to enjoy um, the Cayman Islands because I've never been here. So, um, and I can't wait to come back this the next time with my family on vacation and enjoy the beaches. I heard they have beautiful beaches, beautiful food. They don't have as much crime. There's a lot of be um, Airbnbs here. And so that's something good to know that if we wanted to invest property here, we are able to do that as well. So I'm learning a lot about the Cayman Islands. And um, yeah, so the next time or the next clip you'll see will be in the park um, and you will see outreach. All right, see y'all in the next clip. Bye. you guys so we're sorting our clothes for our outreach and look at all the clothes we're sorting out look at all of this wow i found it we can't mind it was in in the office <laughs> talk about outreach at the game man this is so good so we have yeah okay baby yeah we had about eight suitcases Full of clothes that we're going to give away. Brand new with tags on it. Fresh and brand new. And the workers are working. And we are putting away our men, women, boys, girls. So they're working. This is powerful. We turned the church into a, <laughs> a little flea market. Yes, All right, you guys, so I'm walking. I just felt like walking because they were upstairs sorting clothes and I was getting bored, to be honest. So I decided to come out and do some walking and enjoy this amazing breeze. So I'm like near a plaza where there is, um, there's a lot of shops, food, and I think this is like a, a conference center where you can actually do business settings, office meetings and 
there's several churches in this building. So, yeah, we over here and it's called the Cayman. Can y'all see that? Oh, it's actually, I, if I turn the camera around, you'll be able to see it. But it's the conference, it's the Cayman Conference Center. That's what it's called. And this is where we parked over there. And we, the entrance is here. But I just felt like walking until at least I get some food in my belly. Cause I'm a little hungry now. And anytime I get hungry, I get miserable. You understand. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, I'm just here relaxing. I was trying to see if there was like a store where I can actually go in, look and stuff, but I don't see any stores. So I'm gonna just chill out and look, they got roosters on here. Roosters down here, look at these roosters. They're big and congested roosters. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, for the most part, enjoying myself here in the Cayman Islands, enjoying myself, um, and I'm just relaxing. Um, this hair, let me tell you something about this hair. This hair sheds a lot, and even though it's love me hair, and it's a um, it's a good um, good quality of Bohemian hair, it sheds a lot, and I bought this wig thinking it was going to be easy maintenance when in fact it's really it is easy maintenance but I can't stand the shedding of the hair and then on top of that the combs I don't even have the combs passed in my head but it hurts me and so I wish I bought my other wig the bob the one that is so easy because I'm constantly you see how I'm constantly pulling my hair because the combs and the stuff are getting very irritable in my hair and I wish I got um my bob because I will be rocking that bob right now that that is so easy so light it's no pain I don't feel the comb but this particular but this I almost fell but this particular this particular wig although it's nice and it's about 26 inches long and when you wet it it looked like you got you went to the beach you look like you're gone swimming. It's a really nice wig, but it sheds a lot. You would have to probably trim the ends to not get that much shedding. So I got this wig. I'm gonna tell you how I got this wig. This wig, I got it from a friend. I purchased it for her, from her, from the quarter of the price what she paid for it. She paid for this wig 400 and plus change. I said, I'm not paying 400 and something dollars for no wig. So she gave it to me for $150. You hear me? That's a quarter of what she paid for. She paid nearly $500 for this wig. And I'm like, God, this is the most expensive wig that I have, I have owned. So I paid a fraction of the cost, but this is the most expensive wig that I got and but it hurts me it hurts it's, pain, it's painful it hurts me but anyway i'm about to go upstairs i think um someone went to go get us food and yesterday i requested from one of the sisters to make some guyanese chow mein so she went to go and make the chow mein and so now she's bringing it down <laughs> all right you guys we finally made it to the park and we are about to distribute this clothes but guess what we're gonna see people here we have clothes but we're not seeing the people but we have food and we got a lot of people here and everybody's here so i'm gonna show you um the clothes and how they are laying it out now so that you can see for yourself. And we're actually doing ministry. So this is amazing, powerful, powerful move of God right at this point. Okay? See y'all in the next clip. Alright guys, so this is where they're gonna be handing out the clothes. Huh?
Way down pretty. Mm -mm. Oh, I go in the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they got us. Look at this. They have this spot where you can walk, though. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Wow. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Volleyball. Yeah. Wow, come on, Cayman Beach. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. You can face camera? Yeah. Nice. So nice. Okay, so I'm at the beach right now, and I want to take off my clothes and go in the water. But I didn't come prepared. But look at this beautiful water. Ooh, it is so beautiful. It's just so, so beautiful. I'm gonna, and I smell that food. It's just so nice. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. 